Electric vehicles are rapidly growing in popularity as an eco-friendly alternative to gas motors, but how good for the environment are they really? So here to debate this are two fabulous gentlemen here. We've got Dr. Olofsson and Dr. Ashner. Let's first talk about the pros, Dr. Olofsson, of EVs. Yes, if we look at today's gasoline cars, we have emissions from three sources. That is from the mechanical brakes, the tires, and the combustion engines. And if we start to introduce electrical vehicles, we remove one of these sources, and that is from the tailpipe. And that is actually, in terms of uh, count, rather about 90% of the particle count of the inhalable particles we have, and half of the particle mass. So we've talked about some of the, the pros, so talk a little bit about some of the cons that we might not think about with EVs. I, I think they're really bad for the environment. Uh, and there are several things we have to think. You know, we, there's sort of a myth there that if you get into an electric car, you're not polluting the environment anymore. But if you think about the production of the vehicle, uh, the carbon footprint of producing an electric car is far greater than uh, uh, internal combustion vehicle. Uh, these vehicles are heavier, so Dr. Olofsson mentioned, uh, you know, tire wear. There's much greater tire wear on cars that are uh, electric. There's, uh, of course, no pollution during the driving when you're talking about electric vehicles, uh, but at the end of the, their life as well, the recycling is a problem as well because the batteries are much larger there's a lot of chemicals there uh, you're generating a lot of e-waste and probably the greatest thing you know get, getting an electric vehicle doesn't mean that it's you know working forever you have to charge it where does that electricity come from it comes from the grid and 61 percent of all the grid power that's being generated today globally comes from coal burning. So you're actually creating more pollution right now with the electric vehicles if you sum it together than from internal combustion vehicles. So we have to take all of these factors into account. And there are more. And also knowing that there are some benefits, how do we mitigate all of these factors that you've brought up? One thing for sure is that I agree on we need lighter electric vehicles. We cannot continue to put on uh, electric vehicles that have a mass of 3,000 kilograms on the road. So potentially adding, you know, we're, we're here in Florida, we have solar farms everywhere, we should be able to run our entire state. So is that part of what you're thinking of too when you think of how do we create the energy that's powering the power grids that are charging these vehicles? Is that something that comes to mind? Yes, of course, if we, we can use the battery electric vehicles like a storage, we, we can actually use the sun-produced electricity and store them in ele parked electric vehicles and then send it out to the grid again when we need it, if we make the technology available. So thinking about all that, when you think, okay, there is potential here, if we make them lighter, if we have different sources for energy, do you see that there is a potential to mitigate the risks of EVs? Yes, there are, but you know, there, there are other issues which I, I didn't mention yet. Uh, you know, there's social inequality, for example. Uh, who's recycling these batteries? Let's just take one example. They probably end up in Africa or some other continent, and you know, you employ uh, underage uh, minority kids to, to do this. Uh, E-waste, we're very well known. Uh, there's issues with uh, microplastics that are being generated by these cars. Uh, so, you know, again, the myth that uh, an electric vehicle is the solution for everything, it's green, you know, let's get in, let's buy one, and it's going to solve all our problems. Is Right now, I'm talking about, uh, you know, March 16th or 17th, 2025, is a myth. There's a lot that needs to be taken into account. There, there's social issues. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs because of the you know manufacturing it's much more efficient and i'm not saying that you know they shouldn't eventually lose their job but i think there needs to be a lot of thought needs to be put into it 
Uh, and I think the public needs to know that as we stand today, uh, electric vehicles are still bad for the environment. There's really a lot of information to uncover rather than just the main headline or the main marketing pitch. Anything else that you wanted to add from a pro EV perspective? Yes, th there is of course. I agree if we immediately send uh, battery electric vehicles for scrap, th then we have a problem. But if we go for a second life of the batteries, we use them for for uh, battery power cells to to take care of the power sun power generated electricity. Th th then we have a good solution for the second life. Sounds like much more research needs to be done on both sides of the equation to really harness the pros, keeping the cons in mind and how we go forward with something like this. Thank you both of you gentlemen for joining us today to give us more perspective on this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You can watch all of our content and more by clicking this link right here. Go check it out now.